The mission of Sanibel Sea School is to promote marine conservation. One of the things that we discovered was a, a great quote by Jacques Cousteau, who said, we conserve what we love. And I think in many ways, what we're trying to do is provide an opportunity for kids to fall in love with the ocean. I hope that kids think there's something magical about the ocean, that it's wonderful, it's, it's a place to be protected. In many ways, what we're really trying to teach is stewardship. The idea that there is a responsibility to take care of the natural environment. We all affect the natural environment, and particularly the ocean, even if we live in Iowa. The interesting thing about the ocean is it doesn't belong to anyone. It is beleaguered because no laws can adequately protect it. So people have to care. They have to care a lot. And the only way they're going to care is really not out of fear. That's exhausting. You, you just can't move when you think that way. But if you love it, if you really love it, if you have great times on it, then you'll protect it. Kids who come to the Sanibel Sea School come from all over. During the summertime, probably about 40 or 50 percent of the kids come locally in this county. The others come from all over the United States and much of Europe. We've had kids from Paris, we have kids from Austria, kids from England, kids from Germany. For us, Sanibel Sea School is an experiential education. The ocean is not just something that you sort of put on a shelf and you preserve it. But there's an enormous amount of fun out there to be had, and there are ways that you can explore it that are a traditional. Well, I think when you deal with little kids, you have to love them. Parent them, love them. Help show them something that they love. But you can't do that with 100 people in an auditory. You can talk about water, you can talk about mangroves, you can talk about fish, you can talk about composition of sand or waves, you can name all the fish out there, but they won't remember it because they haven't felt it, they haven't played in it. And the converse is true, you can just play and they won't take anything home. So I think that they've got to have both. I think you've got to teach them a little, play a little. We teach kids to surf, but we live in a place that's absolutely surfless. Uh, but they have an inordinately good time playing on surfboards. Uh, number one, it's great, clean, physical exercise. and and it teaches them something new. And it's a new way to explore the ocean as opposed to all of the traditional ways. And there's a, a, a lot of hands-on experience learning. Many kids, when they come to San Juan Sea School, have never touched a fish before. And so there's a bit of transformation. There's a bit of magic for all of a sudden them to hold that fish and recognize, A, it didn't hurt. And I'm connected. I'm connected with this little living thing I can point to them pictures and diagrams in a book and say this is a fin, this is a lateral line, all of these things, all of these structures, but it really comes home to them when they turn that fish over and they look at all those structures. When you reflect upon the program afterwards, you recognize sometimes the true effect of Sanibel Sea School is to watch enrichment of kids. They're dragging their parents in to see what they caught in the tanks, you know, because we let them, well, they'll catch stuff in the nets, then we'll put them in the tanks at the school. Dragging them in, you know, mom, look at this, mom, dad, look at this. You can see the change that occurs in them irregardless of age. A lot of the great stuff is watching the personal growth, is the human dynamic involved. The kids who come here, they change. We've had teachers tell us that problem kids are not problem kids this year after they went to Sanibel Sea School and they asked us what, what did you do to them over the summer. We've had one child whose father was in Iraq and uh, his mother just wrote me to say that was an amazing summer for him and his dad was gone and it was meaningful, it was profoundly meaningful for him. Each time we start a new program or a new type of program is really exciting. We have the best job in the world. There's a fabulous new adventure every day. We are having a lot of fun. I want people to walk away and say, that was great, that was really great. I want it to be one of the best things they've ever done. <laughs>